Hi everyone. You might remember in the last video I showed you how to make the latex double horns. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to attach them. Now all I've done is I've got an old concealer pen and coloured in the latex horn. So it did used to be this colour, whereas now it's more of a fleshy colour. And then all I did is I applied some old face powder on top to set the concealer and as you can see it doesn't rub off but it's enough just to colour the devil horn a little bit then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some not on the brush I'm going to take some uh, liquid latex and around the edges I'm going to apply a bit of the latex You could stick it with um, spirit gum or proper adhesive if you want. I'm just working with what I've got. Um, you can stick this on with lash glue as well. I've tried that, that works alright as well. And then what you do is just decide where you want it. press it in place okay then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the concealer I've got which is just an old one it's not a very good one to be honest it doesn't matter I'm just going to go around the edge like that <coughs> just blend that in with my finger and if you find um, oh I've got a bit that's not stuck very well if you find you've got a bit that doesn't stick very well, just put a bit more latex on. And then what I'm going to do, actually, because it's not sticking fantastically, because what I've done is I've cut around the edge because I'd left quite a big edge around the end of the horn but I didn't want it that much so I've trimmed that off so I could have done with le leaving a bit more of an edge to it so it would glue on easier but never mind I'm just going to apply some latex around the outside So help it stick. So see, I've just applied the latex around the edge. <coughs> I think my tub's nearly empty. I'm just gonna open my other tub of latex because this one's empty. This is just um, a bog standard latex that I got from Costume Shop. <coughs> so I'm going to open my Mayron liquid latex. Which I haven't even undone the seal on. Okay. Oh, usefully, this one comes with a brush, which is very useful. Do 
just apply a couple of layers of the latex around the edge to help blend the edges in and then I'm just going to use a wet finger so <coughs> dip your finger in a bit of water and use that to smooth down any edges to the latex like so and then it's just a case of leaving that to dry and then covering it with makeup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the second horn on and then I'll show you what to do next oh in fact with this one I'll show you what I did to prepare it like this one so first of all I decided I didn't want such a lip at the bottom so I'll just cut that with scissors just trim off any trimmed off any excess so I've just trimmed the edges off now with this one unfortunately as it was drying it got squished so it keeps bending like that so what I'm going to do because I found this one stuck on and it's alright as it is but what you can do to maintain the shape properly is just put a little bit of cotton wool inside just stuff that down and it makes it firmer and easier to apply <coughs> and it will hold its shape better so just keep stuffing little bits of cotton wool in pushing them down with my brush it's full so see that's a much more firm and rigid shape now this one hasn't got any stuffing in it um, just to show you that if you do it thick enough you can actually get it to stay in shape I've put, I've put about three or four layers of latex on this one whereas this one's only about two so you do need more layers of latex than what I'd put on and then what you do is take a concealer pen or whatever concealer you've got I chose this one because it's a really old it's an old one and it's like a pinky colour so it doesn't work and then just apply that probably not going to see in this light just apply that all over the devil horn that you've made It makes it more of a fleshy tone because this latex that I used which is the cheap one from the costume shop it had sort of like a yellowy tone to it and adding this pinky toned concealer makes it look more uh, flesh toned and I found that when you apply the paint to the latex it dries really quick and once it's on it seems to stay on um, but obviously I found it works just as well with concealer as well so cover it all over okay so it's just took a bit of the yellowness off it then I've just got this really old face powder which is a translucent one and a brush and just dust over the top that makes sure the concealer is dry on the outside and helps to, to set it so instead of having a yellowy devil horn I've got one now that's a fleshy tone then I'm going to stick this on exactly the same as this one apply a couple of layers of latex around the edge once I've done that I'll come back and show you what to do next ok once the latex is dry just take some liquid concealer 
or a cream concealer. Just dab it around the edges of the horn and the latex and blend that in with your skin. <coughs> I had to reattach that one because I decided the the horns look better with the cotton wool stuff in it. So I took this one off, put some cotton wool in and then stuck it back on. So that's why this one got fresh latex on it. Just keep dabbing on the concealer. Blending it in with your skin tone. Then just take some face powder and a brush. Just dab that over the top. Now, if like me on this one, you get any little edges that are visible. All you do is you apply a couple of layers, about, well I'll say a couple, about three, maybe four layers of latex and just fill in that little join there. Um, this one's not so bad, that's more blended in there. It's just I've got the horn slightly deformed on this side. So that's why that bit's sticking out because I, squ I accidentally squashed it after uh, I took it off the mould so it's stuck together. So yeah, so once you've made your um, latex double horns using the moulding method as you can see they're easy to use and I think they look a lot better than the cardboard ones. So that's how to apply them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe.